going with you have Todd? Is he just is he fourth team scout team, or do you keep working him with the first team? Or? No, he takes a few reps with the first team, and then he's got a condition on the side, and uh, you know just uh, get enough reps where he's uh, knows what's going on. Uh, but Todd's a smart guy. Uh, this is his third year here in this offense, and and understands uh, what we're trying to do, and that's kind of how he's been repping uh, this year uh, up to this point, anyway. Is it tough as a guy who calls play? I mean, obviously you've been through it one game, but mm -hmm. this sort of uncertainty as you try to put together a plan to not uh, know that something could change tomorrow or whatever. It is, but that, that's 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 uh, the way it is right now. That's the situation we're in. That could happen with the injury too. So mm -hmm. you just got to adjust and uh, coach who's out there and coach who's ready to go on Saturday. The, uh, Picking up the pace, uh, getting the number of snaps you guys did uh, Saturday. What was going? What was uh, the mindset there? Well, uh, first of all, it had a lot to do with the defense. Uh, you know, producing three and outs and then creating turnovers, uh, which our number of snaps were up. Uh, and then I think uh, converting third downs uh, had a lot to do with that. Uh, you know, but uh, we want to try to go a little bit fast uh, in the first half and keep them off balance. Uh, and still be balanced, which we were in the first half. And then when we got up 20, um, we kind of slowed down th things in the second half and really got our four-minute offense there uh, in the third quarter and were able to convert some third downs and score. But, uh, you know, the first half, that was the plan. second half kind of changed uh, based on the lead and how our defense was playing. Mike, what do you think they were able to do to slow down Alabama's run game? I mean, they held Alabama to, like, hardly any rushing yards at all. Well, I think they're very good up front. I think 86, uh, Flowers, I think that's his name, uh, is, is, is long and strong. Uh, and 91, those two guys on the same side present a problem. Uh, I can't remember that one's last name right now. I'm talking about him. But 91 and 86 are very good players uh, for them. Uh, and, you know, you just turn on the tape. Uh, any week they play, they play extremely hard every week. Uh, they're playing their tails off for their coaches, uh, and you know it's a, it's another good SEC defense. And I mean, you know, anytime you play anybody, uh, you, you got to expect their best. And they they played well against Alabama. We expect the same thing on Saturday. Does Nick Chubb or anybody else at tailback back limit your call sheet? I mean, limit what you can put on. Well, there? a little bit. He's a fra he's still a freshman. Yeah. Uh, you know, and there's certain things that. Uh, he hasn't experienced or repped enough to do so that you know certain things that we just can't carry. Uh, we're gonna you know rep the things that we had think had a chance to be successful against their defense and what do we think the guys that are playing, not just the tailback position, can handle that week is what we'll call. Uh, so you know that that just predominantly uh, dealing with the tailback. It really could be any any position. You know, the receiver goes down or you know we're looking this guy handle that's in there and what do we feel comfortable about him so that's really any position. When you look at y'all's turnover margin as a team and mm -hmm. look at Hudson's responsibility for that with only the three interceptions, how much of that is you think volume as in he hasn't thrown maybe as much as Aaron did past year and how much is well, he, he has been accurate? Well obviously a lot, you know, when you put the ball in the air a lot of times, you know, you're, you're uh, you have a tendency to maybe throw a little bit more picks but uh, I think he's been very uh, accurate. Uh, He's uh, not put himself in these situations where you know he might throw a pig if it's not there. He's went to the next guy, or sometimes just throwing it away. Uh, we always, you know, talk about there's nothing wrong with punt. You know, uh, sometimes that's a bad word, but it's, it's a better word than a turnover. And uh, we're doing a good job of that. And we continue to do that. We'll be in every game. If you don't turn the ball over, you have a chance to win.